So, Chris, what can we expect for Monday? Well, actually, the, this was just in. The National Weather Service confirmed that the tornado that went through Runnels County was a EF3 tornado. That is consistent with, a, with winds up to about 136 miles an hour between 136 to 165 miles an hour. That's the EF3 tornado. As we uh, look at this tornado, we can expect to see, we did see this actually touch down again around Coleman County as we got through those uh, tornado reports there. Uh, we saw those tornado indicator reports here around Runnels County in and around Ballinger, and then our other uh, location was in uh, near the Silver Valley area near Coleman County. We're continuing to track a, uh, this uh, next system that's going to be coming through the area. We are already starting to see increasing moisture approach from the west. And this is all of ahead of our next weather system that's expecting to move through uh, over tomorrow into Tuesday morning. The Storm Prediction Center has a large portion of West Texas under a risk for severe storms, with the risk increasing for more severe uh, tornado outbreaks along the eastern Texas panhandle to western Oklahoma. But here in the Concho Valley, we're still under a slight risk for severe storms for the entire Concho Valley. But as you go into the northern portions from San Angelo to Sterling City to our northern portion, they're under, we were under a enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five. And this is all ahead of the storms that are expected to move through Monday night. But here's the timing of with these storms. We can expect a few showers as this as we go into tomorrow morning across the viewing area. But then we're going to see partly cloudy skies as we go throughout the day. But then as we go into those overnight hours, we're going to see this squall line type storms come through. We're going to see very breezy conditions for tomorrow. Uh, but I do believe that this model is a little bit overdoing it. I think that we're going to see more strong weather to severe weather to the north of San Angelo in our northern sections uh, of the Concho Valley and stretching all the way to Ballinger, or not to Ballinger, but to Abilene, rather. As we look into our next uh, 24 hours, we can expect all that to clear out by 6 in the morning, but unfortunately, it's going to be one of those overnight events that we've been constantly seeing for the past uh, couple of uh, severe storm events. We are uh, tracking this uh, low-pressure system. That's off to the west. That's around Cal uh, California. That's going to be moving through uh, as we go into Tuesday morning along with that dry line. And like I mentioned, if folks in our eastern portion of the Texas Panhandle to western Oklahoma, they're going to be under the gun for a tornado outbreak. Uh, but then, then again, we are going to start clearing out as we go throughout the week uh, with a chance of showers coming through as we head into Thursday and Friday. I believe that our severe weather risk is going to be over for the week. We can just, just expect those slight risks, uh, those slight chances for showers as we go from Thursday, lasting into the weekend there uh, with our uh, increasing temperatures. But we're going to start feeling a little bit like more like summer with temps staying in the upper 80s. 80s, possibly hitting 90 degrees as we go throughout the next seven days. Uh, we can expect a hot day for Wednesday, and then we're going to see our increasing rain chances for Thursday, bringing our temps back down just a bit in our upper 80s uh, as we go throughout the end of the week there. But our temps are going to be remaining in the upper 80s, hitting about 90 as we head towards next weekend there. But as we uh, look at our current temperatures here in the Tonto Valley, we're seeing uh, temps in the 70s for the most part, a little bit warm, warmer to the south of us in the upper 70s in uh, near Menard in Fort McCavitt and areas around junction, but wind speed right now a little bit calmed out of the east at 8 miles an hour, but we can expect these to start jumping up to around 20 to 25 miles an hour as we go throughout tomorrow. But tonight, expect those scattered showers, low getting down to 69, partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of those uh, showers to isolate thunderstorms with winds out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour there. And tomorrow, getting up to 89 degrees, very breezy conditions with those scattered storms increasing as we go throughout the next uh, 24 hours. We're going to see just a slight risk for some severe, uh, just for some showers. But as we go into those later hours, we're going to see just mostly cloudy skies as we go throughout the day. But then in those overnight hours, that's where we're going to start seeing those increasing uh, chances for that severe weather there. But for your five-day forecast, we can expect to see the temps warming up into the 80s and 90s. That overnight storm event Monday night into Tuesday morning, highs in the 80s, warming up to 90 for the middle of the week with some showers possible from Thursday, stretching all the way to next Sunday with temps in the upper 80s, hitting 91 for next Sunday. Overnight temps in the 60s and 70s as we go throughout the next seven days. We'll be right back.